reading is going to be for water signs for the first week of March. Once I pull general cards, I will be adding with whichever deck I feel drawn to for Oracle to clarify for each one. They will be time stamped below. Please also realize that energy is fluid. Okay? Um, I am trying to deliver this reading specifically for you, for your water sign. Sometimes other people's energies come in, so please just know if this is your energy or the energy of somebody you are dealing with. This also may not be your reading, so know your charts, okay? See if you have other elements in your, um, in your chart, or you can also... Um, Hey guys, I just totally lost my train of thought. It, it's also how you feel, right? If you're feeling very grounded or if you're feeling very up in the air, right? You may be drawn to see um, another um, sign. Okay, that's all. So for my water signs, overall energy. Let's get two more cards. I'm using the Smith Waite deck. It's a beautiful deck. I actually quite enjoy this. So... Spirits and guides, please just give me two more cards for the water signs for March 1st to 7th, 2021. Okay. Whoa, there we go. Whoa. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and we have the Hangman in reverse. Uh, you guys um, are coming out strong. So you have the Knight and the Queen of Cups. And then the Hangman in reverse. So with the Knight of Cups it's, um, coming in, um, it, <laughs> you guys are like, you guys are going to have a good week from the looks of it, my water signs. So this Knight is coming in. Uh, cups um, is water, right? Obviously. And it's emotional. So I would say this has something to do with love. Now it doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be anything. Um, if it's job related, it could be um, that you really are finding some project that you love or um, perhaps a new offer in a different field that you love. But let's get down to this. So the uh, Knight of Cups uh, but it is romance, right? So, or it's an offer opportunity. So, um, and he has little wings on his helmet. So, and the horse is actually moving, right? So oh, there we go. It's not like he's, um, you know, stopping. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, it's like he's stopped. But this one, um, he's moving ahead. And then with the queen. So this could be some sort of a union between a knight and a queen. Now the knight isn't a king though. So if you are in the queen energy, I just want you to uh, realize what's going on here. So it could mean some sort of a union. Um, it's uh, the queen and the knight are very similar. It's a lot of um, emotional, um, kind, intuitive, uh, more feminine than the knight. But remember, the knight is still very young, so he still has to mature into a king. So, and this could also be the progression of even you loving yourself, right? So if you've been doing a lot of self-work, you might move from knight mode into queen mode, where you're starting to really develop. You might have some personal breakthroughs as well, okay? So, and then we have the hangman in reverse. Now, the hangman is normally when he's... Um, there we go. Proper. Um, it's just, it's just sort of, literally it's hanging out and chilling. Okay. But when we get the hangman in reverse, um, it's sort of about indecision, um, or some sort of a delay. So the energy for the week is, is, um, I'm thinking after some sort of a delay because the cards come out, it doesn't have to be in an order of any sort. I'm thinking that after a delay, maybe some sort of union is finally happening or some sort of opportunity. So maybe in February, we're feeling a little bit stuck, a little bit blah. We just had a full moon in Virgo, which is releasing a lot of stuff. 
so that's what I'm sort of getting for this. Let's go ahead and clarify um, for my uh, cancer first, shall we? Sorry, I'm just trying to see which one. You know what, I'm not the wisdom, the oracle. So this is a fantastic week for you guys. Good job. So let's go ahead, whoa, and see. Ha! What comes up? Let's see if there's another one that wants to come up because there are a few jumpers here. So this is for uh, my signs, cancer signs. This is the first week to add to this. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and this last one flew. Okay. Wow. So it looks like whatever you've done, whatever work you've done in the past has really, really helped. So first is yang and then um, blessed and peace. So I'm thinking that somewhere there was some sort of a masculine um, either energy or maybe some sort of a male. Um, but here if you see above the hands it looks sort of like a fiery energy and that needed to come through. So you guys are water, right? What's the opposite of water? Fire. So looks like you needed to embrace a little bit of fire, right? And whatever this union is, whatever is happening here, whatever this opportunity, it's blessed and it's going to bring you peace. So that's, uh, that's pretty beautiful, Cancerians. Good job. So whatever you've done, like you're, you're being guided. And I'd also like to point out these three for my water signs, these are like two major arcana, and then, um, sorry, two in the higher of the minor, and then one major, which is big, okay? So let's go ahead and pull for, <clears throat> excuse me, my Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, you know what? The healing. So let's see. I don't know why I get drawn to this deck, because every time I do it, I'm like, there's a lot of negative cards in this one, so who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we're going to pull up what you've overcome, or you know what? So far, uh, the cards that come out of this deck are pretty fantastic. So here we go. Okay. So, huh. so with the healing, wow. So sorry, I just flipped it. Um, so we have number 21 and number 32. Maybe those numbers have some sort of meaning to you. Um, and it's healing and Phoenix rising. So this seems more like if you're Pisces that you've done some inner work, right? Maybe you felt like you haven't been doing so fantastic and you've been a little bit stuck with the hangman. Now he's flipped over, right? So, uh, you've felt a bit of a blockage, but now guess what? you're moving on with the knight and the queen. So I feel like this is more of an emotional and an individual thing because you've done some healing and now you've looked and you have Phoenix rising. I'm gonna show you these cards. So I keep going the wrong way. I'll figure it out sometime. And this is Phoenix rising. Jeez. Ugh. Oh, come on. There we go. Good. So they're beautiful cards. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I get more of an inner thing. So it's funny because for cancer, I get more of a external relationship energy. For my Pisces, I feel like it is <clears throat> more of you've been doing a lot of inner work, right? Healing, she has this beautiful um, glow of energy between her hands and she even has tears in her eyes, but that's okay. Healing <clears throat> is messy, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to my Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. You know what? I'm getting drawn to my angel deck. <clears throat> These are um, a, a new deck that I just happened to get. And um, I'm getting, wow, they're really jumpy. Everything has been shuffled and cleansed, of course, right? Beautiful new full moon that we just had. So Scorpio, for the first week of March, let's provide some clarity for the hangman in reverse, the knight of cups and the queen of cups. Oh, there we go. Okay. And here we go. Spiritual understanding. 
Um, so it's Archangel Raziel. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols helping you understand spiritual truths. So um, this is to sort of go within. So maybe you're still in the um, feeling a little bit blocked with that. Um, maybe you have some sort of an indecision. Okay, and you're not too sure what to decide in order to get to the space here. So, um, and this says pretty much to just go to your angels, right? Um, come on. I really gotta figure this out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that it's a very light colored card too. So, um, allow yourself just to go within and intuition. Intuition's a tough thing to work with, right? So there you go, that's Scorpio. Good job, guys. So we have something that's very much about relationship, about inner healing, and about some sort of path. And it doesn't even have to be relationship. It could be that you're trying to figure out something to do with, because this is you, Cups is you. So it could be um, career as well. But you really need to go deep within and see and pull out what matters for you when you're trying to initiate whatever change this is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull a final energy for you. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the week's advice is to you from Spirit. For all my water size signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the first week of March. What's the overall message for you guys? Okay, come on. Oops, that one just sort of flopped right out. Okay. I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Okay. So that is pretty big. You know what? I think I figured out what. No, I don't think that's going to work. I was trying to turn something off. There we go. So, and it shows the phases of the moon. Okay. Which, um, you guys being water signs, you are heavily controlled by the moon. The moon controls the tides, right? Okay, guys. That is your overall meaning. Stay connected, right? And um, keep going and have... A wonderful week thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share um, please leave any comments below I appreciate your viewing and supporting me thank you very much